Hi, this is Dave Dirks, co-author of the book, The New Marketing Analytics. I want to take a few minutes today to talk to you about a very interesting report that was published uh, back in 2016, March of 2016, by uh, Citi, uh, formerly known as Citi Bank, but Citi um, Research. And it was an article, it was basically a research uh, paper that focused on the impact of what is known as fintech um, and another short term for financial technology and the business models and new businesses that are coming up, uh, companies like Betterment, um, uh, more existing stalwarts like uh, PayPal, which play within the online or the digital arena only and offer all of their services and products through the digital platforms uh, that they have. Um, interestingly enough, um, fintech is one of those areas that is about to disrupt the banking industry and the financial services industry at large in many ways. Uh, and it doesn't just affect um, large banks. It also uh, should concern smaller regional and community banks, uh, credit, credit unions um, of various sizes, um, all financial services and just institutions really need to pay attention to what the fintech business model uh, means and it does. Um, very, I thought it was interesting that the city report um, noted that researchers expect somewhere about the year 2023 for uh, fintech um, companies companies that are entirely offering their financial products and services and delivery um, channels entirely online, whether it's through web um, or an app or apps, um, will be about, will compose about 20 or I'm sorry, 17% of the consumer banking uh, market by 2023. And that's significant because that's not chump change here in the United States. And that doesn't encompass, you know, sort of the global subset of of banking institutions around the world. We're just looking at the impact of uh, fintech companies um, here in the United States. So what do we make of this? What do we do with it? Well, let me first by uh, let me first define what fintech really is. And it's simply a business model that delivers financial products and services entirely through digital platforms. So the, you know, the ability, Betterment, for example, uh, which provides uh, a place for people to get investment advice and guidance and to house their investments, um, does not have branches does not have uh, offices per se where you can go and talk to an investment banker. Uh, they've developed an algorithm or algorithms that help guide um, investors in terms of the guidance that they need to reach their financial goals. So it's an entirely um, digital ecosystem that fintech uh, is, is developing and fintech is. Now, the larger banks um, are responding to this in what I would find to be a pretty conservative way, and that is they are either um, creating some internal labs, fintech labs, where they're working with their own opportunities internally to provide financial technology-driven services, um, or they're partnering with uh, existing or newer uh, business modeled um, fintechs and trying to figure out, of course, you know, where that leaves them with their traditional um, banking and financial services models. So there's this whole effort uh, going on at a very high level with banks that are resourced very well to do it. They, they have the money to play. And so they, they, they're trying to figure out, you know, how to approach a fintech because they know, like Citi does, um, they know uh, all banks, Chase, J.P. Morgan Chase, Citi. They all know that uh, eventually fintech will become a larger and larger share of the banking market. They're just our customers who are becoming more and more comfortable with getting those kinds of services delivered. I mean, it's it's sort of to me sort of like the Amazon model. It's a highly efficient uh, digital model that provides products delivered to the customer 
at the price that they're seeking um, at, at a, in a very easy uh, process. Um, most online services that are proffered by financial institutions are clunky. Even today are still clunky. And certainly there are more apps today than there were five years ago that are uh, being offered up by financial institutions of all kinds. And some are okay, some are better than others, but you know, most that I've seen, you know, still fail to, to measure, to make the mark. Still, they're still not um, deeply business model disruptive, which means that they're still playing with a whole part of their body, their business body in the traditional financial services delivery model, whether it's bank branches and or, or offices. Um, and few are, are willing, at, at least yet, to risk moving over to the fintech model, which brings me to another point, and that is you need to understand that the fintech model, as I said earlier in the in this piece, builds um, credibility because it's an ecosystem. You don't need to leave a, a fintech business model over time as they build these out. And um, the delivery of the services that they have, whether they're business services or consumer services or both, are all designed to, to work within an ecosystem, very much like the way Apple's created its own ecosystem where people buy the hardware and they live with the software and they don't go outside of that uh, Apple ecosystem. Uh, Amazon has done very much the same thing. You can buy a wide range of products and services now, of course, into groceries and other areas over time um, because they found it that the that the digital model provides them an efficient and effective way to deliver products faster, cheaper, and better. And so that's the promise that fintech has with banking models. So if you're a smaller community bank or you're a regional bank or you're a, a credit union of any size, you have to be thinking uh, to yourself, well, how do we respond to that? We already have a tremendous amount of competition from larger banks. We're already seeing ourselves move um, you know, our branches into uh, counties and into regions where we haven't traveled before because we've... We're hungry for growth. So where do we go? We, we move our bank branches uh, there. One thing that I think has um, the opportunity that slipped by is this opportunity for small regional uh, and community banks to look at the opportunity to build fintech models within their own business, to be able to deliver their services on scale um, in, a, in a way that's very cost effective and very efficient. And remember, this is about picking up Accounts. This is about uh, of acquiring customers um, and the va the lifetime value of those customers. So, suffice it to say that we'll be talking more uh, on this YouTube channel, the VMA YouTube channel, about fintech and its impact on the banking industry. But if for nothing else, if you're in the banking business, you're a chief marketing officer, a COO, CFO, or a CEO, you should be definitely. Uh, spending quite a bit of your time um, in your management team sessions as well as in the boardroom uh, discussing the opportunities uh, that lie before you in the area of fintech. This is Dave Dirks. I appreciate your time today. If you'd like more information on the new marketing analytics, take a look at our book, The New Marketing Analytics. You can go to our website also, www.newmarketinganalytics.com. Thank you and have a great day.